even if you see the bhagavad gita itself if you study first chapter of bhagavad gita arjuna was perfectly moral and ethical in his values yes four reasons he gave why he don't want to fight yes. compassion he was crying he was his body was shivering i cannot kill other people mm-hmm. what would i do if they die i won't get any happiness because it's by sharing we become happy the everybody i'll get sin why should i kill for my for me to become king i don't want to create this ghastly wealth warfare mm-hmm. so like this he gave many reasons why he don't want to fight very morally strong person yeah but from there onwards he was a recipient to be able to start understanding real philosophy of life yeah and that what krishna starts from second chapter of bhagavad gita yeah. at the end he <clears throat> asked him to do certain things he don't it was not a chair table philosophy okay let yeah. us discuss something and then let us go back to our houses no he he was in the moral principles already arjuna we have to come to this point and then he understood philosophical aspects from krishna and then he executed his desire he executed he implemented in his own kshatriya way what he could do at that point of time, and that was to fight yeah so when we have these three combinations that actually geeta teaches to have complete spirituality right right you know this is what i tell people ke hinduism ya sanatan dharma ya krishna consciousness hum jo bhi naam de usko it is not about running away from the world it wasn't yes. so geeta wasn't uh, said on top of a mountain or in a cave or yes. some such place yes, it absolutely. was in the bang middle of the battlefield yes. so uh, i'll be honest mere palle nahi padi i tried reading it uh, tried listening to a few videos and everything mahabharat i love mahabharat transformed my life mahabharat brought me out of depression mahabharat taught me so much महाभारत बॉट मी बैक टू द सनातन फोल्ड आई वॉज लाइक यार ये क्या था ऐसे थे हमारे पूर्वज और हम लोग क्या कर रहे थे देन आई वेंट डाउन यू नो द रेबिट होल गीता आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ अस डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हम जो ले पब्लिक है वो फैशन बन गया है यू नो मैनेजमेंट फ्रॉम गीता एंड ऑल दैट आई थिंक फॉर द लैक ऑफ अ बेटर वर्ड इट्स पिंपिंग आउट ऑफ गीता मतलब वो मैनेजमेंट और प्रॉफिट बढ़ाने के लिए तो भगवान कृष्ण नहीं बोले था इट वॉज अ मैटर ऑफ लाइफ एंड डेथ एंड रियल डिस्ट्रक्शन और आपका बेस्ट वॉरियर हड़ताल पे जाने वाला है कार्नेज विदाउट अर्जुन सो द प्रेशर वॉज हाई द स्टेक्स आई मीन देर कोटेड की हायर स्टेक्स एंड दैट इज वेन यू नो ही आस्ट अर्जुन टू डू वॉज रिक्वायर्ड टू डू पीपल हु थिंक साहब हमारा बच्चा स्पिरिचुअल होगा तो ही विल लीव हाउस नॉट नेसेसरली माइट बिकम अ मच बेटर वॉरियर इन द वर्ल्ड व्हाई नॉट इट्स अबाउट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस इट्स अबाउट चेंजिंग योर पैराडाइम देन टू चेंज योर एक्सटर्नल्स पीपल कैन चेंज एक्सटर्नल्स इन 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 अ मैटर ऑफ फाइव मिनट्स आई कैन जस्ट वी आर धोती कुर्ता वी आर तिला कैन जस्ट शेव माई हेड इट डज नॉट ट्रांसफॉर्म योर लाइफ transforming life is a matter of whole lifetime process so it's not about changing your externals it's about changing your internal dialogues what you have with yourself okay uh, the mana question is how do you become a spiritual uh, while living in the world i am a grahast similarly yes. there are people who have their emis to pay who have their rent to pay who have their marriages to take care of so how to combine this spiritual knowledge in order to create a better life yes. as a grahastha not as a sanyasi yes so spirituality we have this very negative understanding of spirituality that we have to leave something uh-huh. it's not about leaving something it's about adding something uh-huh. it's about adding the spirit in the rituals of your life that is what make spirituality excellent point plus- i always say when you take a spirit out of a spiritual you are left with a ritual yes the whole idea is to bring that spirit out in any activity in the sense that what is dharmic what is dutifully activity you have to do you have to do so even for that matter arjuna was a grahastha he was a kshatriya he was a king so in his ideology arjuna's ideology was that that let me become a brahmana let me become a sanyasi let me go to the mountains let me beg why i have to fight that much let me go and beg i can maintain myself that was his proposal yeah leaving something but that was not krishna's idea to give him krishna said tasma sarveshu kaleshu mam anusman yudhyacha 
मया अर्पिता मनोबुद्धि माम विवेशी असंशया ही सेट तस्मा सर्वेशु कालेशु माम अनुस्मा युद्ध्याचा यू शुड फाइट ही इज नॉट टेलिंग यू शुड रन अवे फ्रॉम फाइट सिमिलरली ही इज नॉट आस्किंग अस टू रन अवे फ्रॉम द फाइट ऑफ लाइफ सो वी कैन प्रोबेबली टेक इट एज अ एस्केपिज्म रूट फॉर समबडी स्पिरिचुअलिटी कैन बिकम द रूट ऑफ एस्केपिज्म दे आर नॉट एबल टू हैंडल देयर रिस्पांसिबिलिटी they are able to cope up with the challenges that's why they think let me become special and just go out of my responsibility yeah, yeah, that that's is not what, what people krishna, do that is not not what krishna is teaching here yeah krishna is teaching you change your perception you change the way you look at the world again i said it's more about shifting in consciousness your intentions your 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 feelings towards a particular thing than changing the activity it comes later even if you see the cognitive triangle it's about thinking feeling and willing mm. it is belief system which is to be changed first then comes intense feeling about it then comes action so action is the tertiary thing in that so mm. it's all about changing your belief system who you are what's the purpose of life what is going to make me happy and then based upon those foundation do your duty so it can actually run in two parallel tracks If I'll have to ask you a very simple, abrupt question as a householder, okay? I have so much anxiety and I have so little time. What would you advise? I think most of the viewers would relate to it. Yes. So what I would say is, as I mentioned earlier, also, we have to find at least fifteen to twenty minutes every day in our life, and that is an investment you are doing to yourself. Yes. Sometime, what we think is. that if i'm if i'm going to spend these 15 minutes on my self development i'm going to lose lot of my work yeah but i would give an example at this point of time but you know i would yeah. just add one thing here that people would scroll their instagram for 35 minutes and not notice yes. it yeah it's about priorities to what we are giving priority to it's about awakening you know for an example you have two person cutting two different trees mm mm-hmm. so one person is cutting tree with a with the axe for 10 hours and other person is you know sharpening the axe axe for 4 hours and only cutting for 2 hours so whom do you think is going to bring more result the one with the sharper axe yes good point also he is working for more number of time less number of time right similarly we have to understand one point it is a mind which you are working with it is not the body itself mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right thing clicking at right time can give you a huge amount of success than working like crazy in the world okay great. so we don't have the way of working we have to develop the art of really working an art of producing right kind of results at a right point of time yes so when it is mind which we use it is our intuitions if we sharpen then we can really find that guidance in our life and that develops by you know spending some time with your own self unless we spend invest those 2 hours or 20 minutes that is gonna increase your productivity like leaps and bounds okay. it is not losing time it is about investing time the best investment you do is investing in yourself right. so sir uh, one request i have uh, would you be able to find some time on a monthly basis and maybe talk to the viewers i'd be happy to edit it for you and put it on your channel and my channel but uh, i that. think uh, because with a lot of nonsense going around in the name of motivation in the name of spirituality i think uh, it would be great if we can put more of you out i think some of the iskon monks are doing great gor gopal das ji is my personal favorite i love the guy great sense of humor great uh, presence and uh, you know he has that aura of and i think you have something uh, similar to that so i would uh, like to bring your thoughts and your knowledge more and more to the world i had this thought since a very very long time i wanted somebody who could explain geeta but if you th i am sure we can do a live stream or something Uh, where you will come and i will come and people would definitely uh, want to uh, watch that and that would actually push your channel i don't know if you have any copyright issues or something where you no, can talk no we don't talk. have that okay. okay we don't have that so i th- i would be very happy to put all my resources at your disposal i'll be happy to you know edit it on my own time geeta 30 minute kind of a uh, 
lecture if you can do for us for our yes, audience yes perfectly we can we can plan something we have a crash course we have a, we teach is in a very structured way we uh-huh. just don't pick up something because all of us know everything but yeah. we don't know right things so putting right thing in the right place is the most important thing what we feel we should be doing and as a special contribution to society uh-huh. and to the in the in the in the mind of thinkers so yes we will be very happy to collaborate and help in any way we can with our time and energy certainly and i know this wasn't scripted but after talking to you i think there is a lot more which i would like to learn and i would take it to my audience i urge all of you to please come and join us so that we can create that synergy together to share to more and more people the kind of thoughts which always been hidden in the ancient texts of vedic literatures and we want to find those gems out and want to distribute with all of you thank you great thank you thank you so much it has been an honor and a blessing thank you so much i bow to you seek your blessings sir hari krishna